Hey, this is Professor Triplett, and in this video, we are going to talk a little bit about nomenclature that you might hear when you're getting into using 3D programs and particularly modeling. So, uh, what I have here is this sphere, but that's not important right now. Let's go ahead and select the faces. So, I just uh, want to grab one face, and I want to talk about what this is. So. Normally, this would be known as like a polygon or a face, um, and in this set, in this case, it's made up of four sides. So typically, it's called a quad. So you might hear these terms interchangeable. You might hear quad or face or polygon, um, but a quad is the most specific, saying that it has four sides. Okay, so if we go ahead and select the verts. And let's bring our uh, modeling toolkit out and I'm going to connect these two verts like that. Um, we have now triangles here. So grab that guy. And uh, a triangle basically, I mean, everybody knows pretty much what a triangle is by now. It's three sided. Uh, but every quad is kind of technically made up of, a tri of two triangles, um, even though you don't necessarily. Uh, see the triangle um, there is kind of like there, there's a triangle that's going on here and it all has to do with mathematics and geometry so um, even though um, we're not noticing the edge you can actually see um, what the edges look like and the way to see what those edges look like is to go into display polygon and then face triangles. So it's kind of hard to see. Let's go ahead and turn on wireframe for a second here. I can, it's these little dotted lines that you see in the middle. So that's the triangulation of each quad that we're looking at at this point. Okay, so just wanted to mention that. Um, I don't know if that's so important unless you're, sometimes if you're uh, in, baking out normal maps from like one mesh to another, which is something we might touch on later. Um, but uh, if you're doing that, sometimes you have to mess around with the, uh, the actual the triangulation of the polygons. That's the only case I've really had to, to mess around with it. Or if you're getting weird smoothing angles going on, you might mess around with it. Um, so uh, nothing to be concerned with so much now. I, so much right now. I just wanted to mention it just for completeness. Um, so the next thing to talk about, let's go ahead and remove this edge that I put in here. So if I go ahead and select that, I can just hit backspace on my keyboard. And I'm going to go ahead and remove four edges here. And instead of hitting just backspace, I'm going to hold control and hit backspace. Now what that does that's different from just hitting backspace is that actually deletes the edges and any internal verts. So if you look right now, you can kind of see it's flat right here. It's a little bit hard to see though because my background is almost the same color as the mesh. So I'm going to go ahead and actually change my background color really quick. Um, all you have to do is go into settings and preferences, color settings, and you can actually change all kinds of stuff in here. But uh, I already rolled out the 3D views, and in the background, you could just slide this like so, make it a little bit darker. Maybe that's too dark. I like a little bit of like a gray, like a dark gray. Okay, so now now maybe it's easier to see. So now this is a straight line because the vert's gone. If I undo that and you see this, now watch what happens if I go ahead and just hit backspace without hitting control. I'm just hitting backspace now. And if you look, oh, see, this this thing just did me wrong. Did it, did it not get rid of the, did it get rid of the vert? Typically, it leaves the vert. They might have changed this. It's, I'm, I'm using Maya 2018, and um, uh, in the past, there's you, you could delete edges and the verts would still be there. So I don't know if they, they changed that when you just hit backspace. Um, so yeah, it looks like it's deleting the verts on now. So forget I said that. Uh, I guess backspace works just fine. So it'll get rid of the edges and the verts. Um, the, there's a tool for that too, which is uh, delete edge verts and that's in, um, I, I actually never use it because I just use the backspace button. Uh, but if you look through your tools, let's see if they have it. Um, 
delete edge verts right here. Yeah, control delete. So I guess that does it too. Um, so there's more than one hotkey for this. Uh, but I if I went ahead and hit that, you can see that it got rid of it as well. So uh, anyway, just uh, two, two ways to do the same thing. But my, the reason why I did this, why I deleted these, was because I want to talk about another term uh, in, in 3D modeling. In, it's called N-GON. So it would be like a capital N and then G-O-N. So N-GON. And an N-GON is any polygon that has more than four sides. So anything that's five sides, six sides, anything like that. In this class, you are not allowed to have any N-GONs in your models. That's uh, actually not um, that's that's not the way we model typically. Um, some people do leave N-GONs for certain reasons uh, where it doesn't really matter. But um, typically in, in this class, we're going to do clean modeling and we're going to try to make everything quads. There may be a few examples where we use uh, triangles for things, but most time, most of the time it will be quads. Um, so I just wanted to mention uh, what an N-GON was because you may hear that term come up and you may not understand. Uh, so anything more than five, or I should say anything more than four sides, so anything five sides and up is an N-GON. Okay, so um, let's look at a way that we could select um, N-GONs and triangles. Um, Maya doesn't have kind of like a direct way to do that. Some programs do, uh, but they do have this thing called mesh cleanup, and it actually can work to select uh, if you have like N-GONs. So it's right here in the mesh and then clean up. Uh, so if you want to select just N-GONs or triangles, um, this is a way you can do it. So you come to this mesh cleanup, and let me reset the tool so it looks like what it normally does. Um, we want to we want to change this from clean up uh, matching polygons to select matching polygons, and then we want to say four sided. So now all it's going to do is select only four sided polygons. I lied to you. It's not going to select four sided polygons. Um, let's see here. What am I missing? I must have done something wrong. Apply the selected object. Keep construction history. Um, Strange. This should be working. Let's try that. Nope. Well, I've done this many times before and never had this problem. Um, but uh, apparently now it's uh, it's acting strange. Not sure why. Faces with so you can actually select N-Gons this way. You can hit apply. Um, but for whatever reason, it's not working. Let's go like this. Let's just make a new scene. And let's go ahead and make a, a sphere. And we'll just scale it up really quick. And let's hide that grid. And I'm gonna go to my faces. And I'm just gonna hit apply here. And again, it's, uh, it's not working. So I might need to restart Maya and find out what's going on. So I'm gonna pause this and and see why this is not working. Um, oh wait, now this wouldn't have worked. Hold on, let's try this. Oh, there we go. Okay, see I didn't have any N-GONs at the time and I said more than four sided. So I had that just that check. So this time it worked. Something got followed up in that Maya file. Uh, I don't know what the problem was. And, it, and those things do happen. So and I'm gonna leave this in the video so you can see what just happened. Um, but we, so what you can see now is that I had this four sided selected, so it selected all my quads. That's all my my uh, what we're going to shoot for for most of this class, and it left the triangles. And if I want to go ahead and reverse it, all I have to do is come into my select and go inverse, which is also Control Shift I. So I like using the hotkeys. So let me undo that. I'm going to use the hotkey and hit Control Shift I, and there we go, and it's selecting my triangles. Now if I had an N-GON um, in here, like so. Let's just hit backspace. And I went ahead and did the same process. Now you'll see it won't select the triangles, won't select the N-GON, and then Control shift i And then this is a good way to check your models and see uh, if you have any bad geometry going on. So that's a pretty important step. Um, I know it went a little bit off of nomenclature, but <laughs> it's uh, something that I actually wanted to put into the select video, and I kind of just missed it. So I went ahead and just threw it in here.